Hello, we're here with David Phillips, Vice President of Textron Systems, and we're here to have a quick chat about their new Shadow Block 3 update. Yep. So, what can you tell me? So, Shadow is uh, celebrating, we're celebrating with the Army this year, 20 years of service to our warfighters with Shadow. And the Block 3 is the next capability improvement in Shadow, in what has been a, a long line of capability improvements. And so it's addressing many of the users' uh, needs uh, with the emerging requirements uh, in, the, in the field. Uh, the first thing it's addressing is uh, power. So um, we have an upgraded engine. It's a new higher reliability, higher horsepower engine. Uh, it's a water-cooled engine. It's just under 50 horsepower. So it gives us additional margin to enable the shadow to climb out to altitude much quicker. It gives it uh, power margin as well. Um, and it's, uh, it is a quieter, it's a lower audible signature engine. So a lot of the, lot of the things that the uh, feedback from the field is being addressed with that engine. Uh, additionally, the Shadow, um, as, part of, as part of Block 3, is getting uh, the ability to operate in inclement weather better. And so expanding its, uh, its uh, ability to execute missions with an 800% improvement in, uh, in precipitation. So two inches of rain an hour versus previously a quarter of an inch of rain. So it enables Shadow to fly into and out of clouds, which is, uh, which is pretty common in Shadow's operating environment. And I've, I've seen that you're looking to bring it in with the US Shadow fleet in 2020. Yes. Is there any update on that? Yes, uh, so we just completed uh, flight testing at White Sands Missile Range about a five-week flight testing uh, period with the Army where we qualified many of the Block 3 changes in flight. Um, and, uh, and at this point, we then go into hardware uh, procurement and some follow-on test and evaluation with the Army, and we would anticipate uh, first unit equipped with the Army in, uh, in 2020. Great, and on the topic of the United States, um, as you're involved with the future Tactical UAS Systems Program, and um, I was wondering if you could update me on the um, Aerosol HQ. Certainly. Um, you know, the Army is evaluating, uh, particularly with respect to their brigade combat teams, evaluating a system that, uh, that would be able to, to operate either complementary with Shadow or ultimately um, um, in place of Shadow. And so they're, they're, they're trying a, an accelerated acquisition uh, philosophy whereby they're they're saying we're going to buy, try, and decide. Um, so they went through a pretty exhaustive uh, competition that included the demonstration out of Dugway um, in Utah, as well as proposals from many many competitors. And from them, they selected uh, the Arison Hybrid Quad primarily uh, because of its uh, very small expeditionary nature. Something that the brigade combat teams really want to focus on is, um, is deployability and transportability with a very small crew, yet maintaining uh, significant capability and multi-mission uh, capability like the Arison system. The Arison system uh, has about 350,000 hours of operational experience at this point, and we've, what we added was a, a, a vertical takeoff and landing kit to the Arison that enabled the Army, enabled us to demonstrate to the Army coming off of a CH-47 helicopter, internally transportable, um, coming out with a crew of four and getting an aircraft launched in under 20 minutes is something that uh, the brigade combat teams are valuing in terms of expeditionary. Great. Thank you very much, and thanks for talking to me. Okay, Cheers.